So yes, some of them say that there's a, a cycling universe. Um, so the Big Bang is an event when space gets very hot and very dense and filled with particles. And that may happen again. According to scientists, the universe's history traces back to the Big Bang, an incredibly tiny speck of energy that exploded and expanded into the universe we know today. Yet, have you ever pondered what preceded the Big Bang? It appears that scientists may have discovered indications suggesting the existence of another universe before our own. They propose that our universe might be just one in a series of universes spanning across vast time periods. This assertion comes from renowned physicist Roger Penrose, and more recently, British physicist Brian Cox has lent support to this concept. However, is there concrete evidence to substantiate these claims or to delve deeper into the topic? Join us as we explore a time preceding the Big Bang. Science informs us that the universe began with the Big Bang around 13.8 billion years ago, originating from an immensely dense hot speck of energy that explosively released measurably small units, forming the first atoms. This marked the initial point of creation in the observable universe, expanding over billions of years into the cosmos we perceive today. Currently, scientists have traced evidence of the Big Bang only to within fractions of a second after its occurrence. Determining the cause or what preceded the Big Bang has remained elusive. However, recent developments suggest a shift. Theoretical physicist and Nobel Prize winner Sir Roger Penrose proposes a theory suggesting that our universe didn't emerge from nothing, but is instead a result of a preceding universe. Penrose, a respected mathematician and physicist, has made significant contributions to the general theory of relativity and cosmology. Awarded the Wolf Prize in Physics, shared with Stephen Hawking in 1988, and later receiving half of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020 for predicting black hole formation through the general theory of relativity, he stands as one of the foremost physicists today. His theories hold esteem in the science community, so when he introduced his theory on the universe's origins, it caught the science community off guard. In his book, A Cycle of Times, Penrose proposed the conformal cyclic cosmology model, a deviation from Einstein's general relativity that challenges many of Einstein's original ideas. Penrose's cosmology model diverges from the widely accepted multidimensional theories, suggesting that the universe unfolds in phases rather than conforming to the commonly embraced multiversal concept. Penrose presented evidence based on concentric circles, discovered in his examination of both pre-existing and current versions of the cosmic microwave background. His observation led him to conclude that a previous universe likely existed before the Big Bang that shaped our own. In his book, he asserted that the Big Bang resulted from the concluding stages of the pre-existing universe, which, in its final moments, contained evaporating black holes consuming all cosmic matter within their realm. He described that at the end of that universe, all matter was within these evaporating black holes, existing as photons outside space and time. According to him, these photons were essentially indistinguishable from the initial photons observed in the first milliseconds of the Big Bang, suggesting that the singularity giving rise to the Big Bang is synonymous with the infinitely expanded pre-existing universe. The foundation of Penrose's theory traces back to an examination of the cosmic microwave background, the earliest electromagnetic radiation permeating the initial phases of the universe, recognized by physicists as relic radiation. CMB is widespread throughout the universe, serving as a crucial data source, indicating the thermal radioactive state of the early universe. Originating during the recombination period when the very first atoms formed, CMB dates back approximately 375,000 years post-Big Bang. While this might seem like an extensive time frame, in the expansive scope of the observable universe, it's relatively brief, providing the closest snapshot of the early universe. Utilizing radio telescopes, Penrose extracted data from the CMB, capturing a moment when temperatures had sufficiently dropped for protons and electrons to create hydrogen atoms. In the collaborative analysis, Penrose, along with co-authors Christoph and Tony Meissner, Daniel Ann, 
and Pavel Narosky identified anomalous points in the cosmic microwave background data. These anomalies presented new insights into our understanding of cosmology. The team proposed that these points could be remnants of signals or energies from evaporating supermassive black holes predating our universe. They linked these anomalies to evaporating supermassive black holes, recognizing black holes as the sole entities in the entire universe capable of withstanding and generating an energy density comparable to the Big Bang. Penrose suggested that his examination of the CMB provides initial evidence for the collision of supermassive black holes in a pre-existing universe, as they were the sole structures powerful enough to generate gravitational wave ripples in the early stages of our universe. To back his ideas, Penrose investigated the practical implications of the second law of thermodynamics concerning the ultimate state of the universe. While much of it stems from current views in theoretical physics, Penrose differs from Stephen Hawking's assertion that information is annihilated once matter or energy enters a black hole. Interestingly, Penrose isn't alone in opposing the notion that black holes are mere cosmic voids devouring energy in the universe. Instead, he suggests that they break down energy into photons that exist beyond space and time, beyond the event horizon. According to Penrose, these photons, existing beyond space and time, may serve as the fundamental building blocks for a subsequent universe, manifesting as the Big Bang event. Penrose further contends that over inconceivable spans of time, possibly trillions of years, all matter in the observable universe disintegrates into photon energy in a cold, expanded universe. He labels this period, stretching from a Big Bang to the infinite expansion of a universe, as an eon. The infinite expansion and oblivion of the previous eon become the foundational elements in the Big Bang state of the next eon cycle. During this crucial point between the conclusion of one eon and the commencement of another, considerations of space and time lose relevance, rendering the inception of the new eon seemingly minuscule from the perspective of its observers. Penrose asserts that the singularity presumed to exist during the Big Bang isn't as much of a mystery as previously thought. He contends that similar singularities might exist at the event horizon of black holes. According to him, the circular patterns observed on the cosmic microwave background consist of highly red-shifted photons originating from black holes in the previous universe, now entering our current universe. While these circular streaks on the CMB may not appear significant to the layperson, they carry low energy from a preceding universe, holding significance for physicists. Penrose proposes that cosmic energy engulfed by black holes in the prior universe could be connected to the future Big Bang of the next eon after an inconceivable period of cosmic expansion. Penrose's theory, suggesting that the universe's conclusion will result from an infinite expansion, not only aligns with this concept of a previous universe, but also directly contradicts one of the most prevalent theories regarding the universe's end, the Big Crunch. Until recently, cosmologists suggested that the ongoing expansion of the universe was a consequence of it being in the middle stages of its existence. They theorized that as the universe aged, the gravitational pull of matter scattered throughout it would eventually decelerate the expansion and start drawing everything closer together. The Big Crunch theory proposed that the universe's ultimate fate would be determined by gravitational forces exerted by every mass in the cosmos. This process would lead to contraction, resulting in the ultimate collapse of the universe on a cosmic scale. The crunch would be incredibly dense and hot, triggering another Big Bang and initiating a new universe. While this concept of one universe's end giving rise to the birth of another aligns with Penrose's theory, it is inaccurate in one aspect. Contrary to expectations, the expansion of the universe is not slowing down. Current astronomical observations indicate that not only is the expansion rate of the universe not slowing, but it's actually accelerating at an increasing pace. The observations reveal that the speed at which distant stars and galaxies move away from telescopes on Earth is on the rise. This conclusion was further supported by the study of supernovas, with the speed of their light travel providing evidence that the universe isn't expanding at a constant rate as astronomers previously believed. 
This rapid expansion challenges the Big Crunch theory as gravity seems to have no impact on the cosmos expansion, let alone causing it to collapse. It reinforces Penrose's assertion that the universe will endlessly expand until even black holes break down into photons, sparking the birth of a new universe and the beginning of another eon. While still a debated theory in the scientific community, Penrose introduced a more controversial idea involving extraterrestrial life, not just within our assumed universe, but in the one preceding ours. Penrose proposed the Fermi Paradox, an improbable theory lacking evidence but supporting the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. With cyclic cosmology and the notion of a pre-existing universe, Penrose suggests that information transfer from one eon to another is feasible through his observation of the CMB. He theorizes that advanced civilizations could encode intelligent signals in gravitational wave functions, transcending eons, and passing information to other civilizations in the next universe. This concept has sparked debates in the scientific community, with other researchers studying the cosmic microwave background in search of this alleged evidence. It remains uncertain whether they will reach the same conclusion as Penrose, but one thing is clear. He has captivated the scientific community's attention, prompting them to scrutinize the CMB for similar clues. Whether a universe existed before ours, or if there are traces of trans yon information waiting to be discovered is yet to be proven. What is certain is that we have our own universe to explore and comprehend before delving into the idea of a past universe. Do you think there might have been a previous universe, and perhaps even a past Earth? Share your thoughts in the comments, and we'll catch you in the next video.